Okay, handbrake down, handbrake down, put the handbrake down. Okay. Down, 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 down. Look up, look ahead, look ahead. Right, that's it. Stop. Tap the brake a bit more. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Okay. I pressed it too much. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today is the first of a uh, Rajan's driving lessons. So this is Rajan, my nephew, who I did introduce uh, on a previous video. So we're going to be filming and uploading um, his driving lessons each week. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I will add a separate playlist so you guys can view his progress every week. Uh, so yeah, this is first lesson, and um, I'm going to drive him to a nice, quiet place for his first lesson, and then we'll take you from there. So Raj, how are you feeling? I uh, feel a bit nervous, but, yeah, because it's going to be my first time and everything. But after going through all my driving course this morning and a few other times, I feel a lot more confident. <laughs> and it's <laughs> helped a lot, man. People are going to think I should have mentioned that, yeah. <laughs> okay, but that's really good, Holden. He's okay. mentioned the ultimate driving course. He said it made him feel uh, a bit more comfortable with about yeah. what he's going to uh, do today. I was going to mention... Um, the course when we actually got to the site where we we're going to start a starter lessons but because he's already mentioned it yeah guys so um obviously on your first lesson for those of you who haven't had their lessons before but even for the for those of you who have had their uh, driving lessons yeah on the first lesson the instructor will normally go through all the controls and everything yeah but whereas uh, Ryden's going to be using the ultimate driving course and he's he's going to watch the videos beforehand like he's done and um so that's going to save us a lot of time so i won't have to go through all the controls and um, ex explain everything to him because he's already got the knowledge but i will check all that when we get there so i'll ask you yeah. a few questions yeah right then so um Ready? Should we get going? Yep, let's go. So you've already got your belt on, yeah? yeah. You've never actually driven before, have you? Never, no. Cool. So, um, what we'll do is, you know, when we get there, I'll ask you a few questions, like I said, yeah, about um, the controls and all that, yeah? And then um, if you give me the right answers, then we can go straight on to the pra uh, practical part, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it would be a good idea to watch what I'm doing as I'm driving up to there, yeah? yeah. Okay. So especially with what I'm doing with my feet. Yeah. yeah? Watch how I change in the second gear there, yeah. The vehicle come in, braking first, putting the clutch pedal down, because we stopped, getting gear one, checking it safe, slowly bring the clutch up as I'm accelerating. And when I want to change gear, off the gas, clutch down, second gear. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we are here. Night. Uh, night. Nice, quiet uh, industrial estate. So this is where we're gonna swap seats. Okay. Yep. So before opening the door, just make sure it is safe. Yeah. That there's a. Uh, again. Oh, one more okay. Okay, so you looked in that mirror, yeah, which is yeah. good, yeah. Obviously, you did, you did bend this way a little bit, yeah. I to don't see look out. Look out and... Uh, what's it, yeah, what's that area called, do you know? Blind spot. That's it. Make sure you check, there could be someone walking, there could be a bike on there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, um, right guys, like you mentioned, Rajan's uh, using the ultimate driving course. Uh, he's watched the first uh, few videos, yeah, that cover the cockpit drill controls, moving off and stopping, yeah? yeah. Okay, so, um, what did you learn from, what's a cockpit drill about? Uh, okay, so firstly, uh, the, I don't know what you call it, but you know, you got all the first letters. So, they, that's in there to remember, so it's so D-H, triple S, and then M. And uh, so first these doors, just gotta make sure it's shut. Uh, if just pull on it, whatever. And if it's uh, not shut, then that light would have been on. Good. Yeah, the uh, light, or there could be a sign on on the dash. Yeah. And then uh, next is handbrake, and you can just you can just check here. And or would it it be on there? Well, now nah, because the car's not started. Yeah, but there does be a, uh, a handbrake sign on there when she's when yeah, the when it is started. In. Good. Yeah. And then uh, next is a uh, seatbelt. Just pull it on. Okay, one second. So, I put the seat back, uh, seat belt back for me. Pull it back. Yeah. Okay. okay. So before the seat belt, yeah, it's important to do. It is the start Five of the S as well. Seat, yeah. Yeah. Why? Why do you think the seat's important before you seat belt? Any idea? Because then it'll be more like 
perfect because there'll be like in line and everything. And that's where you'll be actually sitting. Yeah, and it might be more loose if it's more back. You know, like the, the spring in, in there, it will pull it back and tighten it, yeah. But the thing is, so say if you have your seatbelt on and you're moving your uh, seat yeah. back and forth, that can get uncomfortable in there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, always sort your seat out first, yeah. Okay. So there's three parts to the seat. Yeah, uh, there's the base, which is this, the backrest and uh, head restraint. Brilliant, good. Yeah. And then... Just move it to where it's comfortable. Yeah. Do you know how um, how move to check is the right distance? Yeah, shouldn't there be like a slight bend in my arms and a slight bend in my knees? Slight bend in this knee when? When you're pressing which pedal? The clutch. Yeah, so uh, press the clutch Push pedal for down. me. So you're stretching yeah. there, yeah? It's too, it's a bit more forward. Yeah. So you can take your foot off the pedal for now, yeah? So you can like pull yourself forward a bit, yeah? Yeah. Now, try it now. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Um, lift it up. Push it down again. Okay, there's still a bit of bit of stretch there. Yeah, put it yeah. tiny bit more forward. So one second, take your foot off the clutch first. That's it. Pull it forward. That's, that that's a bit too much. Yeah. Back a touch. That's it. Right there. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. See, yeah. this part was stretching first. Yeah, as well. You don't want, you don't want that stretching. Yeah. Okay. That's about right now. And so that's how you know the the base is set, yeah. You can go higher or lower, but does that, that, does that feel comfortable? No, it feels fine, yeah. Good. And you can take your foot off the clutch now. And the, the next part of the seat? Uh, the backrest, and isn't it just that my eyes should be in line with the center of the screen? Yeah, the, that's the height of the base. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah. okay. The backrest, you know, you did mention it earlier, yeah. You know, when you're holding the steering wheel, yeah, from say, say if that was a clock. Uh, ten to two. Yeah, should have a slight bend. How does yeah, that feel? It's too straight. Yeah. So what, what what do you need to do? Uh, do it from here. Yeah. That's it right there. I think maybe a little bit more forward. Okay. Whatever feels comfortable. Yeah. That's it right there. Probably a bit too much. Yes. Yeah, a bit more back. There we go. Yeah. That's yeah? good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. And. Um, Next, uh, my eyes should be in line with set of the screen. And I, so, I so you know how you keep it, you said you said you lead the eyes with the center of the screen, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's all oh, to do that's with the, the base, base yeah. yeah. Okay, so now the kind of uh, eye is yeah. not too high, not too low, yeah. yeah. Okay, but the head restraint, how you know that's adjusted correctly? Shouldn't it be? I can't remember what it is, but it's so much should be just above my ears. Um, yeah, so you know your eyes or the top of your ears should yeah. be in the center part of the head restraining, yeah, which is that's about right now. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay, and uh, that's it with the seat now. Okay, or, or also make sure, yeah, you once you have adjusted your seat, that the steering your hands go all the way, yeah, that, nothing that's where they're catching way. on to anything, yeah, yeah, good. And next, uh, seat belt, yep. And I've got to pull it, make sure it's tight and secure. Good. And, and there's uh, no two sort in. Yeah. Is there yeah. so the information about, you know, all this stuff that um, Ryzen's going through that we're going through? Yeah, there is other information about this stuff, yeah, that we normally pass on to people, like just from watching Rajan and um, the stuff he's telling me, I can tell he's watched the videos, yeah, so I'm not going to go through every single little detail, yeah, okay? Yeah. And what you can do is, you know, even after the lesson, yeah, you can go back, watch the videos, just to re rejog your memory as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Next. Uh, lastly, is mirrors and blind spots. Yeah. So blind spots, you don't really have to adjust anything for the blind spots, yeah. do you? <laughs> no. Okay. But the mirrors, yes, we do have to uh, adjust the mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. So the mirrors, how do you know they're adjusted correctly? Uh, they shouldn't be too low, uh, or they shouldn't be too high. It should be like just in the middle. Yeah. And the way you adjust them. So let's start off with the center one first. If you tell me about the center one, yeah. Yeah. How do you know the centre ones adjusted correctly or not? I uh, should be able to see the whole uh, rear glass panel yeah. in all this. Yeah, can you see that at the moment? Nah, so, so I just uh, it. Yeah, when you just, just try and use your left, left hand, yeah, yeah. Your, your thumb and your finger, just like this. So you don't make marks on That's it. it, good. And why is it important to have your body in your normal driving position and not lean to the side when you're just in your mirror? Because then when you, sit, uh, when you go back to sitting in your normal position, it'll be different. Good. How's that now? Yeah, that, that feels perfect. Good. Yeah, yeah that reminds me of my mirror on as well. 
Your mirror. Mirror. Oh, mirror. Demon seatbelt. Okay. Right, and your side mirrors, how do you know they just do correctly? Um, they should just be, yeah, they should just be in the middle, really normal. They shouldn't be too high or low. You should just be able to see the road and everything fine. Good, and is that just do correctly or not? Yeah, that feels fine. So, you know how you did it there, yeah, how you looked at it? You put your head down and then looked at it, yeah. yeah so, hold the steering for me. Yeah, look straight ahead first. Yeah, look at this mirror, look at the centre mirror. Now, look yeah. at the side one. That's it, like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see how the view is going to be different to when you when uh, lean down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So to adjust that mirror correctly, you need to put the ignition on first. Yeah. Mm. So don't do anything with the clutch pedal or anything. Keep your feet away from the pedals for now. Okay. Put the key in. Turn the key till the lights come on. That's it. And now you'll be able to uh, adjust the mirror. Yeah, adjust the mirror. So don't turn the don't, key or don't anything. Start it. No. Okay. So one second. So you see the L and the R switch. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the right yeah, uh, yeah. Press the R one. Good. And now. Yeah, I think that's fine. Good. How much of a car can you see? How much? Of, uh, just a little bit of it. Good. That's all you want. Just, okay. just a, a couple of fingers width about that much. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And switch it over to the left one. Is that all right? For for me, it looks okay. Okay, so how do you know it's okay or not? Because it's not too high or low, and I can I can only see a little bit of the car. Okay, just again, make sure you're in your correct body position, um, sitting in the correct position. Hold the steering wheel for me. I'll let you guys to hold the steering because that's that's exactly how you're going to position when you're driving. Yeah. Yeah. And now. Yeah, I just see. So make sure you can't see too much of your car. Yeah, you nah, want to see a lot of your car. It's got to be the view next to your car yeah what's next to your car yeah i can only see a bit of the car that's now. it that okay. looks better okay yeah can you see the road as well yeah good okay so that's our mirrors in. so if you turn the key back don't worry, pull that lever down for me that's it that's it okay and turn the key back back towards you pull it out that's it okay so just leave the key there for now Right then, so that, um, your mirrors, what's the difference in the glass between that, uh, the centre mirror and the side mirrors? Do you remember? This one's, I think, normal and that one's convex. Good. And so, uh, which one gives you a true picture of the distance of how fast uh, this is? one. That's it. Yeah. The side mirrors? It yeah. just makes it, uh, like, smaller. Yeah. And does it make it feel, like, more away? Brilliant. Yeah. Good. So whenever you want to see how far something is, yeah? Yeah. Never use the side mirrors to judge the actual distance, yeah? yeah. Okay. Obviously, after your experience, you'll be able to tell, okay, I can see something in that mirror, you know how far it is, yeah, but for the, the true distance, you always check your centre mirror, yeah? that's why you always check the mirrors in pairs. Yeah. Okay. And the area that you can't see in your mirrors, you did mention Amelia, what are they called? Oh, blind spots. Good. Yeah. So, yeah. It, if you look over your right blind spot, okay, so you know your right blind spot, yeah, it's not there, yeah? It's over there. So look, look at that sign over there on that on that uh, grey silvery door. Yeah? yeah. What does the first sign say? Or well, both the signs say? Uh, no parking. That's it. Yeah. That's where you should be looking towards that area. Yeah. Okay. okay. If something was parked there, so if you're looking in your mirrors now. Yeah. Yeah. So again, see how you're already getting yeah. to like bending your neck and that. Yeah. Sit normal when you're checking your mirrors. That's it, like that. Yeah. Okay. So you know that area that um, we just mentioned. Yeah. Can you see that in your mirrors anywhere? No. So th th that's what we call the blind spot, yeah. yeah. So say if you, obviously it's nice and quiet now, yeah. Say if it was busy, that, say that garage is open, could, could a vehicle be driving out of there towards us? Yeah. Yeah, and if we didn't look, yeah, and we started to move off, what would happen? We would crash. Exactly. We'll have an accident. Yeah. Same on this side, yeah. Look over to this side as well. No, your blind spot, no. just, oh, just that's it there. Like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. So you turn your head around. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You got yeah. that? Yeah. Right then, so that's the cockpit roll done yeah sorted yeah like i said because um you watched the video did, did save us some time yeah okay mm -hmm. and um, uh, you did um revise the video as well yeah so it's not about watch just watching the videos it's about revising them as well you're remembering the information in there yeah. okay and like i always say you might need to watch them more than once just to take the information in yeah 
Right then, starting the car now. Actually, before we start the car, it's best if we just uh, we haven't gone through the foot controls yet. Yeah. So um, you watched the video on the controls as well, yeah. Yeah. So what did you learn about the controls? What are the three pedals? Uh, this is obviously accelerator, gas, clutch. I mean, brake, clutch. Okay. So you know when you um, pointed at the clutch with your foot, yeah. Which uh, which foot are we going to use for the clutch? Left one. That's it, because on the left hand side. Yep. Which foot do we use for the accelerator? Uh, right. How about the brake? It's the same right. That's it, good. Yeah. So what does the accelerator do? Uh, it sends fuel to the engine so that the car can go. Good. What does the brake pedal do? Just slows down and stops the car. Excellent. What does the clutch pedal do? Um, what do we use it for? The two, what are the two things called? The plates? Yeah, the two plates. It disconnects the plates so that you can change gear. Good. When you push it all the way down. Yeah, and then when you bring it up, what happens to the plates? They slowly start connecting, but you'll feel the biting point as you're slowly bringing it up, and then after you got to let them fully connect. Brilliant. See, so, uh, that makes me happy, because that kind of information, yeah, you're already knowing it. Yeah. It just sa saves me a lot of time, yeah. Okay. Right then, um, the clutch pedal, yeah, show me how you'd put it down. Good. And how would you bring it up? So you'll... Would I be able to fulfill the button point now? No, nah, not now. No, not now. Only when the car's on and we've selected gear. You, you got to bring it up slowly, because if you bring it too uh, fast, it'll stop. Brilliant. Well done. Good. You can take your foot off there. Now, put your foot on the accelerator for me. Okay. So, you know how you push that quite a bit down there? Yeah. Okay, we only need to push it down. About How would you describe that? How much would you describe that? Like, two millimetres. That's it. Whatever you describe, yeah, like that. Th that's, that's all you need it. Yeah, yeah, that I, much at a time, yeah. I never thought that first, because you know if you see it in movies or games, you always see them fully pushing it. <laughs> okay, we but, don't want to be fully yeah, pushing it. really sensitive. Yeah, and the brake pedal? Uh, just, you push it a bit more. Not slowly though, push Yeah, it that, that's enough. That's all you need. That's it. Yeah, okay. that'll slow the car, especially with today's lesson, because we're going to be driving quite slow, yeah. yeah. Okay. But you know when you move your foot from the accelerator to the brake? Yeah. yeah. See how your whole foot moved, yeah? Should my heel so in the, video, the same place? That's it. And now, yeah. now pivot, pivot your foot over. That's it. And back to the accelerator. Good. Slide your foot down a little bit towards like, you. Towards. That's it. What part of the foot do we need to use? To push down? Yeah. Uh, tip of our toes. That's it. Just the front ball part, yeah? Yeah. Now switch it over to the brake. That's it. That's it, okay. You so I don't do have too much of my foot no. on it or anything. You, you, you use the front part, the ball part, yeah. Yeah. So um, you can feel it a lot more with that. Okay. Okay. When you use the base, you can't really feel how much you've pressed. Okay. Okay? Yeah. But you don't need too low because you don't want to slip, slip off either. So, tiny bit higher. Tiny bit. That's it. A bit lower. There. Okay. Now, onto the brake. That's it. Onto the accelerator. That's it. Yeah. So, now, if you keep your heel there, yeah. Yeah. You don't want your first start yeah, driving and you keep your um, heel fixed at the right position, yeah, for the right foot. You want it to look down at the pedals. So uh, just just look ahead for me. Yeah, put your foot on the brake, onto the accelerator. There we go. See, if your heel wasn't at the right right place, you'd be yeah, yeah. looking down at it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Good. And um, the handbrake, what does the handbrake do and what do we use it for? Uh, the handbrake... It locks the uh, back two wheels. And when do we use it? Uh, when we're just like, fully stopped. Yeah, after you stop to secure the car, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but while you're moving, which pedal do we use to stop the car? Brake. Yeah, the brakes work on all four wheels, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And um, the gears. Okay, so this car, we've got six gears, well, seven gears, one reverse gear, yeah? Mm. Okay. So which gear do we use to move off? Uh, one. Good. And what's we always go up in, up in the order, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after first gear, roughly when do we ch go into gear two? Is it like after about twelve miles power or yeah, a thousand uh, RPM? Not a thousand RPM. So in this car, roughly around ten, twelve between ten and twelve miles an hour. 10, yeah, it works okay. in just it, an easy way to remember it in this car. Yeah, like other cars may differ slightly. Yeah, like um, every ten miles an hour. Yeah, so okay, as yeah. soon as you reach um, uh, around 10 miles an hour gear 2, 20 miles an hour gear 3. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, that will differ um, in um, each car, and this is only for when you're on a flat 
see if he's not driving up all yeah okay okay you yeah. change your gears later we'll talk about that in, um, in another lesson yeah okay so if you press the clutch pedal down because we're mm -hmm. going to practice changing the gears now you show me how to get gear one uh we'll be fine to move now yeah yeah because yeah. the clutch is down one uh you do you have to hold it like this the other way oh like that's like it. that yeah that's it that's yeah. gear one and, and gear two is just straight down yeah so you know the we call that the, the the palming method yeah it's important to have the palm facing the correct way yeah yeah um because so if you take your hand off a second yeah keep the clutch pedal down for me yeah okay so you know when you push into when you push into the middle it goes into the neutral. spring takes in, yeah that's neutral good yeah yeah so if your hands are like this well you can go into gear three as well yeah so that's why yeah. i say you know when you push it when you palm it here push then up and then gear two palm this way and then for the other gears you can have your palm on top okay, okay just for gear one and two we say so try gear one good gear two that's it and okay. pop you back into neutral that's it there so you don't really need to force it much here so yeah uh, put into gear two again remember which way to palm but that's gear one. So put it back, back into neutral now. Just touch it, tap it gently into in the middle. That's it. That's it, okay. And the way you can check it's in neutral, move it side to side. Good. Uh, and if it was in any, sorry, move your hand a second. Now, put it side to side now. Move it side to side now. Feel right, the difference? It won't move, yeah. Put it into neutral. Move it side to side now. Yeah, it moves a lot easier. Good. Remember, neutral's the only, on, uh, only gear, yeah. Well, it's not a gear. It's like that's it's neutral, no gear. Yeah. Um, that that's the only time you can take your foot off the clutch here, yeah, and the car won't stall. Yeah, but it disengages the you know the plates. Yeah. They don't work at all. Then when it's in neutral. Okay. Okay. You can yeah. take your foot off now. Right. So that's the main controls done. That's the wipe lever which you accidentally used earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indicators are on this side. So how would you indicate um, right? Just up. You remember it by uh, the way the steering wheel moves. Good. Just and finger. Then obviously uh, left will be down. Brilliant. Good. That's it. Let's. Uh, any other questions? Anything you don't understand? Nah. Good. Not really, no. There's a key. Obviously, you put the key there earlier. Let's uh, practice starting the car now. So put the ignition on first. So how do you know the ignition's on? Uh, the lights will come on. Are the lights on? No. That's it, now the ignition's on. Oh, it's on, yeah. okay. Now just start the car, okay, take your foot off the gas pedal, you don't need to press the... So the gas, I'll call it the, uh, the accelerator, I call it the gas most of the time I do, yeah. Okay, yeah. easier for me to say. Now press the clutch pedal fully down, and turn the key. I'm not my foot on the brake or anything? No, that's it, and let go of the key. See, once the car's on, you don't want to keep the key yeah. pushed like that, yeah. Okay, let go of it, yeah. Because you can damage um, uh, the steering part, and take your foot off the clutch now we can because because we're in neutral yeah yeah okay and place your foot on the side so and here that's it but okay. the uh, that's the foot rest part yeah you know when you take your foot off the clutch you can leave it there okay okay yeah right so now let's practice um setting the gas so just tap the gas pedal see and you see those uh see the rev counter there yeah see the needle going up so if you can hold that between, well, hold that out with 2,000 revs. Feel how sensitive the pedal is? Yeah. Yeah? Good. And the rest of the stuff on there, obviously on the right hand side, it's the speedometer. Yeah. yeah. The fuel, obviously that's my responsibility at the moment. Yeah. And oh, you I have to check that as well, yeah. You're part of the cockpit drill, but that's my on the, for the driving lessons obviously that's my responsibility isn't it yeah yeah okay obviously after you pass when you know in your own car before you go on a journey you should check you got enough fuel okay you don't okay. run out of fuel on the way and that red light now that's uh, on that means a uh, handbrake's on that's it good yeah yeah sorted so if you turn off uh, and take out the key that's it Okay. So that's it, that's the copy rule, controls, and um, starting the car. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty straightforward.
Like I said, it is a lot of information to take in, yeah? Yeah. Okay, but um, you revise the videos really well. Yeah, I think it would have been if I didn't watch the videos. But they're yeah. like, they're not too long or anything as well. They're just like a good amount of time and good, not too much detail like that. Yeah. Quickly moves on and that. And the reason why I love them, it just saves me a lot of uh, work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right then, so now we're going to move on to um, moving the car. So we're going to move the car. And then we're going to stop the car. Okay. The exciting part now, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's what you've been waiting for probably, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so I've split this lesson into two separate videos for easier viewing. As you've just seen, we've covered the cockpit drill and controls. The next part, moving off and stopping, will be uploaded within a couple of days, well, on Sunday morning instead of the normal mock test videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.